Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I want to show you how to create your own customized Windows 10 image file. This procedure will help you to remove Windows inbuilt applications and other unwanted features that you do not want to use. A custom image file allows you to install and load faster than an official Windows 10 installation file. As you know, a professional user does not use all the features of Windows on their computer. For me, it is always a desktop computer that I use only for my work. So I don't use 80% of the application that Windows provides. I don't even use like Skype, phone, people, Xbox, like so many Windows applications. Such applications often run in the background and affect computer performance when used for an essential task. There may be many people among us who facing the same situation. So this video useful for them to have a try on their personal computer. So here are some things to get ready before you start the process. All you have to download a Windows ISO file from official website and you need to download a toolkit. This is a Windows support program used to modify the Windows image file but it was created by a third party client so it may be blocked by your antivirus program when you try to download the file uh, but it can be downloaded by deactivating your antivirus program. You can get it from their official website. Just find the link in the description below. Once you download the zip file, I suggest you to place it directly on the drive. That means uh, do not create any subfolder to place the file. As you can see here, I have copied the file to the one of my external hard drive. If you don't have any other local drive, use the C drive for placing the zip file. Okay. Now I am going to extract the file. And you can see files here after being extracted. And uh, now we need to copy the Windows image file in the DVD folder or ISO folder. If you are using ISO image directly here, you must copy the ISO file to the ISO folder. But the easiest is convert the ISO image and copy Windows installation file to the DVD folder. Let me show you the method. If you can find the mount option when you right click on the ISO image, it will help you to view and copy the installation files. When you mount ISO file, it will create a virtual drive on your computer. You can see here, this is the virtual drive and just click to open and copy files like this. And one more thing that we need to make sure the image file format. Usually it could be an ESD format when it download from official website, which means electronic software download. But here we need it as WIM format, which means Windows imaging format. As you see here, my file is in ESD format. So first I need to convert it as Windows imaging format. So let's begin the process by clicking the start file. If you won't be able to open the start file normally, you can try to right click and run as administrator. And now a DOS window will pop up like you see now. And now press A key to accept the terms. Then press enter key to access main menu. Okay. And here you can see few options that are using for modifying the image file. As I said before, we need to convert the ESD file so that I am going to choose second option to convert. Just enter in series number 2. And here I am choosing second option. Convert install ESD image to WIM image. And now you can see here all the Windows 10 versions which included in this image file. If you are a home edition user, you can enter the related serial number. If you want pro edition, then enter the pro serial number. But here we can see some versions that included with the end name, which means it is the same edition but without the Windows Media Player and related technologies that included music, video, voice record and Skype etc. In fact, by selecting the end series, we can eliminate a few Windows features that may be unnecessary for many users. So I personally like to use Windows Pro N edition so that I am entering number 7 and now conversion is started. Now 
After the conversion, it asks you to press any key to continue. Once we press any key, it will go back to the main menu. Okay. So we have converted ESD to WIM format. Now we are going to next step. Select the source file. For that press number 1. Since we have copied Windows image file to the DVD folder, we can select first option. Select source from DVD folder. Okay, now it will ask you to enter image index, which is 1. And once you hit enter, it will ask you two questions. Do you want to mount Windows setup? You can press Y. And another question is, do you want to mount Windows recovery? You can press Y here as well and it start the process this will take 20 to 30 minutes to finish but here uh, i just increases the timeline speed to reduce the video length it asking press any key to continue okay okay now it's time to make changes on image file just go to remove option press number four and we can choose first option to remove windows component and see here list of component which can be managed one by one first going to internet and you can see two components are listed over here uh, I want to remove only few files which I don't need from each component section when you do you have to make it up to your liking Okay From here. I want to remove Internet Explorer. So I am entering number two and it start run removing process The same method we need to do on each and every component section so continue watch the video the files I remove from each component will show you in the text format Okay.
well finally i finished the removal process and the next option is customize where you can see some options such as windows futures and so on it may be necessary to run third party software so i don't intend to make any specific changes in the customize section so just moving back to the main window and the next option is apply here we can apply the changes that we made in image files and just choosing the second option apply and save changes to source images and this will override image file and there is another question do you want to clean up image windows folder uh, choosing yes and for that just entering the y and it takes few minutes the applying changes is completed and now we are going to the next option target okay which will allow you to save the image file uh, here you can find few options to save the image file and uh, I gonna choose first one make a DVD ISO image and it asking for enter the label and name windows okay when it 100% complete our new image file is ready to use okay so that's it for creating a custom image file i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching see you in the next episode